the hardest characters to defend. I seen Aaron up here, I had to click it. Let's see what they talking about. With every great show comes a great cast of characters, many of them varying with different personalities, character traits, and character arcs. Many uh -huh. of these fan favorites tend to develop their own fan bases that will defend these characters like they are their own children. The more popular sure. the character, the larger the fan base will be, and ultimately the more supporters and defenders they'll have. But there's an important phenomenon we need to look into first. In fiction, there are some morally questionable characters that have legions of supporters. Some of these characters have committed Wait. numerous- <laughs> Griffith has characters? like he has fans there's people that support griffith and like defend what he did that's actually kind of crazy i know a couple things what he did but like defending aaron makes more sense to me if you defend griffith i'm watching you like you on my watch list bro <laughs> hey you on my watch list bro i gotta watch over you like i gotta look over your show <laughs> I can't trust you, bro. Hisuka. Okay. I know Hisuka does have Hisuka is a little bit more understanding to defend. Hear me out. I'm not even no no weird shit. Hisuka is a weirdo, but he gets horny off of fights. So it's like I it's like, okay, I can see where you're going with that. But Griffith, what the fuck can you defend? Like well, Hisuka, you could be like, oh yeah, he just he's just like that with any any strong fighter. Okay, all right, all right, all right, okay, all right. But he was looking at his booty, you know. I hey, I don't know what to say. But Griffith, I can't believe I, I just can't, bro you gotta you gotta be studied questionable characters that have legions of supporters some of these characters have committed numerous crimes against humanity that even the best of lawyers can't defend but somehow some way their fans will go through all the obstacles to try to justify their actions this delusion from a fan is when one becomes a stan and will do as many mental gymnastics as possible to defend their precious little pookie bear i can't believe i actually said that out loud i won't lie anyways let's get into what? some of these characters <laughs> and the first one on the list is suguru ghetto and of okay. course spoilers in this video now let I can understand his too because he loves sorcerers or whatever the fuck he got going on. I can understand his like viewpoint a little bit. I still think he's a crazy motherfucker, but I can understand his a little bit. So that's what he has to say. To some of these characters, and the first one on the list is Suguru Ghetto, and of course, spoilers in this video. Now let me get this out of the way off rip. This man's fan base is composed of three types of people: people who are fans see. of his character, people who ship him and Gojo together, and people who just simp for him. And many of these guys will try to defend this guy and say he didn't do anything wrong. He was the best guy around. What about the people he murdered? <laughs> what murder? Now I don't want to take away anything from his character arc because Ghetto is one of the most yeah. well-written characters in Jujutsu Kaisen. He goes from a guy who does his best to try to defend the weak from curses but eventually sees that what he's been doing may not even be the best thing for him and his comrades mm. to finally committing to a goal that he believes will be the best for his friends however let's talk about this plan i mean if it's for his friends is he any more different than aaron is he any more different than aaron i ain't taking no sides on this besides aaron finally committing to a goal that he believes will be the best for his friends however let's talk about this plan as he was depressed and lonely yuki pulls up on him and discusses how it's possible to get rid of cursed spirits for good and one of his first ideas is to commit genocide of all non-sorcerers i know there was build up to this because of his mental state but it's not even like this was the only potential solution then we gotta talk <laughs> about the unalivings this guy committed like this whole village of people yes it's sweet that he basically got two daughters out of this but we neglect the fact that he just destroyed this entire village without one i'm dumb as hell i did not know those are the girls those are the girls that sukuna boomed that's that's the girls right those are the girls yo i love watching videos back i start seeing shit bro i got the sharing going on right now cuz I did not know that, bro. Potential solution. Then we gotta talk about the unalivings this guy committed. Like this whole village of people. Yes, it's sweet that he basically got two daughters out of this, but we neglect the fact that he just destroyed this entire village without warning. I know that they were mistreating sorcerers, but this is just mass deletion. Craziest part is, as soon as he turned into a mass murderer, he was happy. The stress of being the strongest <laughs> took a great toll on him, but we can't just skip past the fact that he was walking around normally Damn. after he murked his own parents because they couldn't be a special exemption. This is the guy y'all defending? Then we can't ignore the fact that he was doing this type of stuff for like 10 years you know taking over organizations building a pseudo cult that was a family quote unquote and launching large-scale attacks on society not to mention how this guy started to rival frieza with how much he started to use the word monkey Filthy <laughs> monkey money collecting monkeys curse collecting monkeys thing but monkeys monkeys big monkeys oh by the way all you ghetto <laughs> defenders he will probably be talking to y'all like this too but i guess it's all fine because he was doing this for a better world for his friends wait hold up what were his last words again no matter what anyone tells you I hate those monkeys. <laughs> Actually, the fact that he died and was standing on business, you gotta respect it, bro. He died and still said, hey, I still hate you, niggas. I still hate you, motherfuckers. You gotta respect that shit, bro. You gotta respect that shit, bro. I, I earned so much respect for that man because he died and still hated us niggas, bro. <laughs>
I hate those monkeys. Actually, hold on. One more thing this guy did. Him doing all this evil stuff and getting rocked by Yuta in the end allowed someone else to take over his body and gain an overpowered ability. And now yeah. he wants to destroy humanity. Good job, gang. All right, next up, we got Aaron <laughs> Yeager, a man who always stands on business. The, the goat. The goat. The goat. I'll defend Aaron myself. Aaron did nothing wrong. Yes, I'm a Jaegerist. I told all my friends that. They look at me kind of strange now, but I'll stand on that. I'm a proud Jaegerist. Aaron did nothing wrong at all. <laughs> and he to go. All jokes aside, this guy's actions were extremely hard to defend in my opinion, mostly because it was so radical. When season four was coming out and this man Aaron was talking about moving forward and destroying the enemy, everyone was hyping it up, talking about how they stand with Aaron. At the time, I thought Aaron was low-key crazy trying to destroy everything. All we knew at the time was Aaron wanted to destroy everything except Paradise Island so his friends could be free. This plan makes Aaron look insane, which is kind of the point. You're supposed to see Aaron let me see let me see when this video came out because there's a little bit of bias in this you know what i'm saying two weeks ago mm, when the final come out mm, all right for sure you caught up all right for sure all right my fault bro. my fault thing which is kind of the point you're supposed to see aaron's resolve to gain freedom for himself and the eldians but it's supposed to be such a wild plan and that's why we see his friends trying to stop him except i saw mad people saying that they're crazy for trying to stop them i have friends in real life tell me that aaron was doing the right thing destroying the world fast forward to yes. season four part three part two and yes, I'm calling it that. We finally see the true intentions of Aaron and how he really, really wanted to protect his friends. And that this massacre was ultimately influenced by him wanting good lives for them. Now, I could be completely misinterpreting the ending. I get the whole sacrificing the world for those that he loves theme. But let's put this into perspective. Imagine you're a regular civilian and you wake up one day and start seeing a bunch of giant humans <laughs> destroying everything. Millions of people were deleted. 80% of humanity was gone in a matter of hours. Just because some random guy you don't know wanted to protect his friends. The way he's putting it does sound kind of crazy and fucked up. But listen, the whole world was geared to hating them. Parody Island, the whole world was geared to hating them. They was going to invade them and kill them anyway. Like that was that was going to happen no matter what. You got to remember, Reiner and them already went and infiltrated all that. They was coming no matter what, bro. It was going to happen. So he took the step before anybody and did what was going to what he needed to do. If he was just destroy like the other islands and only like the military, people over time were still going to like rise up and try to like question Parody Island or try to like, you know, fight Parody Island. So he did it and he did it sort of point to the point where like his friends could live a peaceful life for as long as they lived. He didn't want to just do it for temporary reasons. He did it for like permanent for their lifetime. That's the way I see it, bro. That's the way I see it. He knew that if he would have like take a little step, you know, no pun intended, like do a little rumbling, that they were going to rise up and all come out the parody island. But he had to make it so where ain't nobody was able to like be on no alliances and made everybody on the same playing field, bro. Ain't no more racism. Ain't no more Titans. None of that. He put he put the world like he basically just did Noah's Ark on the world. That's a crazy reference, bro. <laughs> He was gone in a matter of hours just because some random guy you don't know wanted to protect his friends. <laughs> Now there's a lot more to his plan, like making his friends look like the heroes and ending the curse of the titans. Okay, but besides there we go. his friends okay. gaining longer okay. lives and the curse of the titans being lifted, which is fairly important and shouldn't be downplayed, the world eventually turned to war again and the cycle just continued. Looking that from a true. completely outside perspective, millions were trampled and destroyed for like what, 10, 20 people Aaron cared about? But hey, maybe I'm too stupid to understand the actions and the ending. Also, a lot of the I, I stand with Aaron defending. fans wanted him to keep going and destroy everything. And my question to y'all is, are y'all crazy? Yes. I guess it shows his commitment, but isn't it OD? Sure, it's cool if he's your friend doing this, but bro, imagine if you're not his friend and you just get murked for no reason. I don't know. Maybe I'm bugging. The next character we got is... I can defend him all day, bro. You know what I'm saying? Who cares that the whole cycle happened again and Parody Island ended up getting destroyed? His goal was to have his friends live his life. And if you had the power to protect your friends and you got like power like that, there's no telling what you're going to do because we don't have that power, bro. If you got that power and you had the chance and you knew you was going to die in six years, but you had a chance to have your, help your friends live a long life. Life, a lot of motherfuckers gonna do it. The next character we got is Griffith. 
Hold on. Are there actually Let people who defend this guy? If you don't know about Griffith, what this guy has done is fairly self-explanatory. Now, I won't try to act like I've read all Berserk or watched it all. Yes, I know I'm a fraud, so maybe I'm missing something. I vaguely <laughs> know what happens leading up to the eclipse, and I've seen the actual eclipse itself. But come on, y'all. What are we defending here? Griffith did a lot to achieve his dream of gaining his own kingdom, like selling his body type of stuff, but eventually huh? went down a spiral that led him to being tortured for over a year. He was basically at his lowest point, but this should not justify someone starting a ritual sacrificing all of his friends, what he did to Casca, and also marking his best friend and his girlfriend with something that will ensure that he is hunted by demons for the rest of his life, all to gain insane power from evil beings. If you're someone who he likes did all Griffith, that? you can say why he did it and his logic behind it, but saying what he did was okay and justified is just delusion in my opinion. Someone could be mentally broken and selfish at the same time, and if- is is guts his best friend guts is his best friend oh this nigga crazy i might read it but i don't know every time i think about reading berserk my stomach feels funny like why it look like that someone could be mentally broken and selfish at the same time and if someone says that casca enjoyed it in a serious manner you might need to be locked up now i'm gonna start firing off some names that are extremely hard to defend basically any celestial dragon is extremely corrupt and i'm not even sure if any of them have fans like who can confidently say that they are a charlo supporter and they love his character we also don't have sound right actually done way too many crimes to count let's name just a few slavery piracy mutilation brainwashing conspiracy blackmailing trafficking abuse of power and more those who actually say dofi did nothing wrong seriously you guys are probably international criminals with the people say that though on your head. the people who also support hisoka and the way he be moving also should be put on some type we of about that because he moves way too walky to not be put on some sort of fbi watch we talked about this i <laughs> see it's everything i i defended him but like i can I'm not gonna say I can see what they're saying. I can. It's better than Griffith. I, you know, everybody on this list is better than Griffith. That's all I gotta say. He did nothing wrong. Oh yeah, you're done. You're done. These are 12 year old kids. This couldn't be more obvious. And don't tell me he just likes strong people. He's literally saying I'm getting turned on when a 12 year old looks at him. Anyways, I see? hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said before, the schedule for video should be a bit more normal now that W video, like that. bro. Also, hey, I'm not defending Hisoka. The only person I'm really defending is Aaron because he the goat. But let me know in the comments below how you feel about what I said. And, you know, defend your characters. If you want to defend them, defend them in the comments below. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.